What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out a South Park episode that you highly recommended from season 13. This is Margaritaville. Let's do this. South Park Bank Savings Alone. Do I really have alone. to do this, Dad? Stan, now more than ever, you need to understand the importance of saving money. But Grandma said I could use this money to buy whatever I want. Okay, next please. Go on, Stanley. Stanley. I got a hundred dollar check from my grandma, and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund, then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. <laughs> oh no, that sucks. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. What? What do you mean? I, I have a hundred dollars. Not anymore, you don't. Poof. What kind of bank is this? His hundred dollars wouldn't be FDIC insured? Well, what can I do to get back I'm my- I'm sorry, sir, but this line is for bank members only. I just opened an account. Do you have any money invested with this bank? No, you just lost it all. Then please stand aside for people who actually have money with us. Great, we can just put that into your retirement account and make it go to work for you, and it's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. What? Sorry, yeah, that's gone. Please step aside for people who actually have money with the bank. I'm trying to teach my son the importance of savings. You already lost his money. We can just transfer money from your account into a portfolio with your son, and it's gone. This <laughs> line is for people who have money with the bank only. Please step aside. This is messed up. Another South Park bank has closed down, leaving thousands of people in debt. Everyone's affected by it. It's like all the money just vanished. This episode came out in 2009, so that would have been not all that long after the whole Lehman Brothers thing. Thank goodness all that stuff is behind us, because in 2022, we don't have to deal with any financial scandals like that. We've got no money to pay our mortgage now. Oh, we could Mr. very Stotch. easily lose our house. Hi, Grandma. Butters. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. <laughs> we asked economic reporter Dan Banks for his assessment. Oh no! We'll have the rest of Dan's interview tonight at ten. How? Sliced hot dogs and tomato slices. You said we had to be careful with our money. I've got nothing for a food budget. Oh. Mom, Dad. How come there's suddenly no money? People with no money who got loans to buy frivolous things they had no business buying. And these like, assholes like just <laughs> blindly started buying any stupid thing that looked appealing because they thought money was endless. <laughs> Meaning less money coming in. What's your Margaritaville? What's that purchase you would make in good times but you could easily do without during bad times? Let me know in the comments. By doing all this frivolous spending, they were mocking the economy. Okay. We're all feeling the economy's vengeance because of materialistic heathens who did stupid things with their money. Why is our economy failing us? Because the government kept interest rates too low for too long. Carmen. The answer is obvious, my friends. It is the Jews. Covetous <laughs> Jews who have taken all our money oh, no. and hoarded it for themselves. Hidden all the cash in some secret Jew cave that they built, probably back in the <laughs> early 60s. You! Who bought that three hundred thousand dollar house when you only had twenty thousand to put down? You, who bought that third car even though only two people in your home drive? It is time to stop pointing fingers. Finger pointing gets us nowhere. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> we have mocked our economy. And He's why is he right. wearing that? This is the first guy to actually make sense. We must stop frivolous spending. Instead of paying for cable, let us watch clouds. Instead of buying clothes, wear but sheets from thine beds. Cut spending to only the bare essentials. Water and bread and margaritas. Yay. <laughs> On the table, sur la table. Hello, young man. Welcome to sur la table. Can I help you? Yeah, I want to return this margaritaville my stupid dad bought. Could you please just put the receipt here on this table? Sorry, our computers are a little slow today. We need a new ethernet cable. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'd like to give you a refund, but I'm afraid it's not doable. <laughs> the French is so stupid. What? I said I'm not able, sir. You see, this Margaritaville was purchased with a payment plan. Can't I just return it and get the money my dad put in back? That's improbable, but not impossible. I'm not really sure how it works. You'll, you'll have to speak with the people at the top. There are those who will say that the economy has forsaken us. Nay, you have forsaken the economy! And now you know the Preaching. economy's wrath. Knowest thou that the economy will take away thy Broncos cap from thine head? Thine own stockbrokers now lie dead by their own hand, and thou knowest that thou stockbrokers did not fear the economy. 
You have brought the economy's vengeance upon yourselves. What can we do, Randy? Just what tell us, us what to do! Tell us, Randy, what we should do! You asking Randy Barsh? Instead of cars that take gasoline, we can get around on llamas from Drake's farm. Instead of video games that take batteries and software, our kids will play with squirrels. The economy is our shepherd. We shall not want. Interesting. It's like they went back in time. Morning, Ted. Morning, Al. Sure was better when our parents were buying us stuff. Is that Kenny on the right? <laughs> it had to be the week that Grand Theft Auto 4 comes out for Nintendo DS. <laughs> You want something new every week, fat ass. Don't you fraternize me! This is all your fault, you know! My fault? The Jews took all the money away, and they had- Don't even start! Don't even start, Cartman! <laughs> well, why are we wearing bed sheets and playing with squirrels, Kyle? <laughs> Not because of the Jews, Butters! Who told you that? <laughs> well, Eric did. Just tell us where the cave is, Cal. The economy isn't some vengeful being that takes things away from us. The economy is just made up of people, and people True. have just lost their faith in it. What people really should be doing is spending more. We best go out speak and with shop. the council. Tell them a young family. Jew is speaking heresy towards the economy. Jesus? Big Orange Finance Company. Hmm. I want to return this Margaritaville. Okay, let me send you to Josh. Hey, welcome to Big Orange Finance Company. Yeah, have a seat. You want some Carmex? Why no is he thanks. using so much? I want to return this Margaritaville, and the guy at Sur La Tabla said that you're the company that financed it. Oh, yeah, no. You know what? No, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, we can't give you your money back for that. Yeah, no. You'd have to talk to the people on Wall Street. Yeah, no. See, what I do is find Stop Americans it. who want a frozen beverage machine but can't afford one, and I hook them up with investors who want to get into the Margaritaville payment plan business. Yeah. So the problem is your Margaritaville payment plan has been combined with thousands of others into one big Margaritaville security. Yeah, no. Yeah, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. The entire town has given over to your ways, Mr. Chairman. Everyone has even stopped using electricity. I am pretty smart, yay. But I have assembled this economic committee to make sure that everyone sticks to my new plan. We've got guards posted at the malls to make sure nobody gets tempted to buy dumb stuff. Okay. A young Jew was in the town square speaking blasphemy about the economy. He was saying that your ideas are false and the economy is not vengeful. He was rallying people to spend more. What harm can one Jew do against our economic recovery movement? Excuse me, we need to borrow your squirrels! What? Wow. Now, pl please, you have sinned! Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, please! What's going on? Are they about to throw these squirrels at him like a biblical stoning? This show... What did he do? Your teacher was caught buying a KitchenAid stand mixer at Bed Bath & Beyond. My mom Take has that one of those. punishment, heathen! Wow! Oh, I'm giant! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Hey, stop it! He must pay for his stand mixer! Come on, this is ridiculous! What's ridiculous about hucking squirrels at a man who has angered the economy? Everyone's gone out and bought something stupid, it's not so bad! Whichever of you guys has never bought anything frivolous, go ahead and huck the next squirrel! Let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Oh! And he hucks it! <laughs> New York Stock Exchange. I'd like to return this Margaritaville, please. Margaritaville? My dad bought it on a payment plan that was set up by a finance company which got their principal investors from somebody here. We lumped thousands of these Margaritaville installment plans together into Margaritaville-based securities, then chopped those securities up in a way that we could sell them to banks. So I can return it to a bank? Nope. Because a bunch of people like you are defaulting on their Margaritaville, so the government had to buy the Margaritaville assets from the banks. Just talk wow. to the Treasury Department in D.C. They're the ones who really understand how all this works. Is it just me, or are some of these South Park episodes like under the radar a genius? I'm a genius, all right? The economy is just an idea made up by people thousands of years ago. Nowadays, they'll give credit cards to practically anyone who applies for them. I applied for this yesterday to prove a point. <laughs> it is an American Express Platinum card. It has no spending limit. Ah! Oh! Do not be afraid. <laughs> this is only plastic. Truly meaningless until we put our faith in it. Without faith, it is only plastic cards and paper money. Money is only as valuable as people perceive it to be. And I think that's part of the reason why we're having all these issues with cryptocurrency and all these tokens and coins and NFTs and all that, where you end up having something be valuable one day 
and almost completely worthless the next. The economy has not improved. Worse, it has declined. Poor Bart here just lost his job at Little Caesar's Pizza. Pizza, pizza. Perhaps he is the economy's only son sent to save us. Are you okay. retarded, Stotch? The economy is omnipotent, so saying it would be limited to one son is fucking stupid. His father Maxi saying that. Going around telling people to shop is dangerous. Well then, there's only one option. We have to kill the Jew. He's got a lot of support. It might be hard to even catch this Jew. <laughs> ah. Did somebody say catch a Jew? I can bring him to you. And all I want in return is Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for handheld Nintendo DS. Of course he'd sell about treasury. I want to return this Margaritaville. <laughs> my dad bought it on a payment plan set up by a finance company that got investors from Wall Street who combined it into security sold to the banks who transferred it to you. We just need to consult the chart. We can determine your property's value and we'll be done. Closed door meeting. What? What just happened? And why did they have blood on them? Excellent news, sir. We've determined the investment value of your Margaritaville to be $90 trillion. Whoa. Whistling willies. Hey, what's the matter? The Last guys? Supper? You seem b b b bummed out. With pizza and breadsticks. I just have a feeling this might be the last time we get to do this. Well, don't worry, Kyle. We're not gonna let people kill you. I have this strange feeling that one of you is gonna totally betray me. <gasps> All right, whoever is thinking of betraying Kyle, that is not cool. <laughs> That's freaking lame, dude. Jeez. Kyle's trying to get the economy going again. <clears throat> Go ahead, Kyle. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to do something. Something I've known I would have to do to restore people's faith. Kyle, please. For, f for, for, for fuck's sake. Don't do anything drastic. Don't worry about me. I've been preparing for this for a while now. How can this stupid thing be worth $90 trillion? Yeah. What, you think it's worth more? Another insurance company's about to go under. If they do, people could lose millions. We better consult the chart. Now determining most prudent- <laughs> Wait a minute. Call JP Morgan, telethon, tax the rich, bad bank, Indian casinos, buy mortgages, go to war, $1 billion, raise Fed, cut education, press conference, print money, $90 trillion, go to Congress, socialize, bail out, let fail, nationalize, coup d'etat, Try again. Now determining most prudent move for insurance company. <laughs> uh, that's why? With the kazoo. Running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Bailout. The most prudent move is a bailout. This is silly, but so smart at the same time. <laughs> it's the Jew. Somehow he got a platinum Amex with no spending limit. What's he doing? Paying for everyone's debts. Uh, hey, thanks, <laughs> kid. This is really nice of you. Why would he do this? So that people have money to spend. Kyle! Kyle, you have to stop this! It's okay, Ma. <laughs> no, Kyle, you'll be in debt for the rest of your life! Please, somebody get him to stop! He's sacrificing his life for- <laughs> This is so good! Oh my god, bro! <laughs> he paid for our debt so we could spend once more. <laughs> he's dead. No, he's just passed out. We should get him to bed. <laughs> this, oh my god, dude. For the first time in almost a year, the economy in South Park has taken a small but noticeable upturn as newly debt-free people feel safe to make purchases. Wow, the new Margaritaville with salsa dispenser. Just pour your favorite salsa <laughs> in the top and it comes out the dispenser at the bottom. Oh, we need this. Red is the first one. But we must not forget the sacrifice one person made to restore our faith and make us believe in the economy once again. Barack Obama. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> This show just continues to surprise me. There are so many episodes I still haven't seen yet. So thank you so much for this recommendation. That was great. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.